So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a website in under five minutes. Now, my name is John Cristani. I'm an internet entrepreneur. I've been doing this for years, but I'm going to show you how you can as well. Now, check this out. We're going to be going over a few things here. I'm going to show you how to register a domain. I'm going to show you how you can get a free website so you can get started. I'm going to show you how to choose the look of your website. And I'm also going to show you how to edit the content and put up some of your own content in under five minutes. And after that five minutes, I'm going to go over some advanced money techniques to start making money. So let's get this started. I'm going to show you right here. Let's get into it right here on my computer. Let's go. Just go to main, choose the look, edit the content. Let's do this. So first off, you have to get a website domain. Now, if you use one of my top three recommended hosting providers, the link will be the first link in my description. Okay. So go down there. You will get a free website, but you have to pay for the hosting. Use my recommended hosting provider right here. Now, as you see, it's actually $2.95 a month, but you get a free domain. So usually you have to pay something like 10 to 25 bucks to register a website, just like bluehost.com right here. But in this case, you'll get it for free and you're getting very cheap hosting, $2.95. Now, what you want to do is just sign up for the basic plan right here. Then we will come over to this page. We're going fast. We have to do this under five minutes. You want to select your domain name. Now, it doesn't really matter what it is. You can type in random stuff because nobody really looks at domain names anymore. And you can check to see if your domain's available. I love hedgehogs, do you? And you could click next and see if it's still available. So once you see that your domain's available, you want to sign up, fill out all this information. Again, you're registering domain. You have to fill out information for them to see your domain. Now, I suggest you register for the cheapest plan, which is the $2.95 for 36 months. You get your primary domain registration for free. I also suggest you sign up for the domain privacy plus protection. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of spam emails. You're gonna get a lot of spam calls. Trust me, you don't want this information out there. I would just keep that checked. Everything else, I would just leave unchecked. You don't need any of that other stuff. Just the privacy and the cheapest plan. Then you need to enter in your credit card information to set up your website and you click submit right there. Now, after you sign up for a website, congratulations, you now have a website. Well, you have a domain. To put the website on it, we need to set it up. Go into Bluehost, it'll look something like this. Now, you'll wanna scroll down and you'll wanna go to where it says My Sites, right there. And you'll click that and it'll be blank. You have no sites. It'll say you don't have any sites. You'll wanna click this button right over here that says create site right there. Now, I suggest you use WordPress. It's been around for 10 or 20 or 30, 50 years. I don't know how long, but it's been around forever. This is what everybody uses. This is what has the most support. I have no idea what this new company is, but just forget about that and use WordPress right there. And there's over 10,000 themes. Now, the site name will just be my weight loss blog and maybe lose weight and drink. So there's our website, create our new WordPress website, then we'll click next. Now, after you click next, you'll get to select whatever websites you've registered. So if it was I love guinea pigs or I love hedgehogs, it'll be there. In my case, I registered a site called learnit.com. You don't need to select any of these. You can select all of them. They're free though. They won't cost you any money forever. You don't have to worry about any future charges from the free plugins. You can select them or not select them. It doesn't matter. Now, after you fill that out, you'll get your information. The information will be emailed to you. You'll have your password, your username to log into your site. Again, all of the details will be in your email. But what you want to do now is save this information here. And then you want to click this button, which is log into WordPress. After you log into WordPress, you want to go over to the area that says appearance and then themes. See right here. So there's a button with a paintbrush that says appearance. And then there's themes. Click right there. In this area, you can choose your theme. Now, spend as much time as you like, but there's lots of different themes here. Generally speaking, there's one, two, or three column themes. You can have two thirds and one third, one third and two thirds. There's two columns and two thirds and one third, whatever you like. Now, I'm gonna use 2017 because that looks, looks pretty. Now, if you want, you can customize your theme and you can just click here and you can 
click customize. Again, there's over 10,000 themes you can search from. Take your time, have fun, figure out how you want your site to look. Now, once we've logged into WordPress, we wanna actually choose the look of our site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to where it says appearance. We're gonna click that and then we're gonna mouse over themes and we're gonna select that right there. Now, once you're in here, you have over 10,000 themes to search from and there's different ways that you can search for themes. You can just scroll down. You can search by a color maybe. Now there's over 10,000 themes here and in order to find more themes than the ones that are preloaded, you can just go click this button right here which says wordpress.org themes. This is where most of the free themes are. You can type in filter here, type in feature filter and you could say, okay, I want it to just be one column and I want it to be a blog or maybe you want it for e-commerce. Then you can just say apply filters. Here you go, here's some fun. Let's preview this one. Maybe we want our site to look like this. We want it to be kind of fun and we can put an image here, do all sorts of stuff. And we put our blog posts and they show up every day here. Or maybe we want our site to look like this. We want it to be more of a gallery. We can preview this site right here. It's kind of like a gallery of different images or links. There's a number of different ways you can do things. If you're a photographer, you could find something that's more photo friendly for whatever you're doing. Doesn't matter, we have, we're on a schedule here. We're staying with the standard theme here. Edit, welcome to Museum of modern art. Now, let's say you wanted to add a blog post. You want to do your first blog post. In order to add that, you would actually go up here to where it says posts and you click right there and you would click add new post right there. Now, by default, every website has a post called hello world. It's kind of like an inside joke, I guess. Here we just add our title and we'd say how I lost weight drinking beer. Then, you know, I'd say here's how and here are my recommended beers. Let's say that's our blog. And in order to create a link here, we would just highlight this. We'd click that little link icon and we'd say, you know, whatever our site is, maybe we're advertising an affiliate link, whatever it is. And boom, there we have a page. And then all I would do is click publish right up here. Click publish. Now we have our post. And the last thing you need to do to activate your site is you need to come up here to where it says blue post home. I clicked right there. Click this button that says launch your site right there or else nobody will be able to see it. And once we have clicked this link, folks, we are now live. Woo! I hope you enjoyed that video. I think it was under five minutes. Registered a domain. We chose the look created some content, we created a blog post, in under five minutes or something like that. I don't know, I'm not actually timing myself. Now, the next step is I'm gonna show you some advanced money techniques to actually make more money from your websites. So this is gonna be especially useful if you're creating a website, not just for personal or blogging or whatever, but if you're actually looking to create websites that actually get people interested in buying a product. Now, if you're just looking to build a relationship with people, whatever goes. Start your blog, link to it on your other social media, and you'll start getting people coming to your website. You just continually post content on social media every day. You blog and you YouTube and you TikTok and you Pinterest and all of these things combined. You can create a business very easily as long as you're consistent. Again, the payoff is huge. The payoff is monstrous. I make millions of dollars a year running internet businesses, mostly hands off at this point. I put in a couple years of work and it pays off far into the future. But in your case, you have to put in the work. You have to be consistent. It takes years and years of work to actually get anywhere. When it really starts taking off, you see massive amounts of money. So faith, right? Faith. Act out of faith and not out of fear. If you act out of faith and not out of fear, you're not going to be continually changing businesses and starting a social media and stopping a social media. Many people act out of fear. They say, I don't think this is going to work. I'm not going to do it anymore. And they stop or they never do anything at all. Work towards it. Now, while WordPress is nice and simple and easy and free to build websites, the way I actually build my websites is using a website builder called ClickFunnels. It's not technical it's very easy to use. You aren't limited to certain themes. You can move and drag and drop things around as you may. There's also a lot of features built in specifically for people that are trying to make money from their websites. Specifically to help market products to sell products 
and to make it happen. And if you want to give yourself the best advantage to actually sell products and earn money, whether it is a food product, whether it is a some sort of product that you're drop shipping from China, or whether it's just you're trading your information or consulting or running an agency, ClickFunnels, it's the best for that. And it's built specifically to help you make money. Now, I register my websites through Bluehost and I use my hosting there, but I build my websites in ClickFunnels. And let me tell you a little bit about that. ClickFunnels, it says quickly create beautiful sales funnels. Again, this is not something like Squarespace, which is just meant to show off your photography collection or show off your architecture designs. This is built to move product and make you money. And I make up to $700,000 a month with my online business. Check this out. A sales funnel is basically built to move people along from getting them onto your email list or your other social media channels, built to make, build value, to make people like you, and also it's built to collect money. Now, WordPress is not gonna collect money for you. ClickFunnels will collect money for you via Stripe, Visa, American Express, or MasterCard. It's ClickFunnels is even built to help you upsell people so you make more money and to deliver product if you're running an info product. So all of these things, again, if you are trying to make money with the internet, if you are trying to use the internet, if you are trying to use your website to make money, I encourage you, sign up for ClickFunnels. There's a 14-day free trial. Right after you build your website, you build your website for free. But if you're looking to make money, try building your website with ClickFunnels. You won't regret it, and you'll see there's so much training inside of the community. It's absolutely amazing. Now, to get a bit into how much does it cost and all that stuff, it costs $97 a month. Now, for most of the 13-year-olds that are watching this video on freaking portrait mode, flip that phone to landscape mode. I know you're scrolling through the comments trying to see, you know, does this work for everybody? Get some confidence because this is important stuff here. ClickFunnels, it's $97 a month, but it's worth every penny. Now, I'm going to show you how to link ClickFunnels with your blog right now. So, how to link click funnels with your website you'll actually go down here and you'll click plugins right here inside your site you'll click plugins and then you'll click add new plugin now within here with WordPress interface you'll just type in the keyword click funnels right over here in the search bar now after you search click funnels you'll scroll down here you will be able to select this thing right here and click install now and say installing and congratulations you installed your first plugin and you'll click activate sorry i'm eating these macadamia nuts i'm on the keto diet i love macadamia nuts now i can eat all the fat i want it's really cool so you click activate and then where you'll be able to connect things is you'll actually go over here right in between here click funnels and you'll click right there. New plugins you install will typically show up under the plugins area, or they'll create their own little sidebar icon within WordPress. And in order to connect things, you have to click finish plugin setup. And then you will type in your account email and your authentication token, which you just email ClickFunnels support. After you sign up, you'll just respond to the email and ask them what is your authentication token. And then you will be able to design beautiful websites. Let me just show you a little bit about how ClickFunnels works and how you are able to design beautiful websites using it. So let's say I want to check out my affiliate funnel. Let's check out this page for instance. This page I built with ClickFunnels. This already happened, but this has a countdown timer that counts down minute by minute. It allows me to create a button where I mouse over it and it appears like that. Now let me show you an example of a beautiful website that I've built with ClickFunnels. Preview the page and I'll show you how we can edit it. So first off, you can just create boxes, you can create countdown timers. When you scroll, the video can appear in the top right. When you mouse over buttons, it changes colors. Everything is WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. It's an editor and you can just design beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pages that are built to sell. It's kind of ugly, but it's built to sell. Edit the page, we just click here, and what you'll see, very different from WordPress, everything is drag and drop. Let's say I wanna move this element over here, or let's say I wanna change out this video. Let's say I wanna change it to a YouTube video. 
I would just go to YouTube and I'd copy and paste the link of the YouTube video right there. And that's what would appear in the video. Everything is very, very, very simple to use. Let's say I want to change the look and color of the button. I would just click on the color and I just click a different color. Oh, I want it to be green or I want it to be purple. Now let's say I wanted to change the look and feel of the text. I just click this button and I could say I want the text color to be blue or I want the text color to be red. And just drag and drop and things change very easily. Let's say I want to add another picture. I would just click plus and I would say, oh, let's do image. What image do I want it to be? I just want it to be a stop sign. Whatever it is, I can choose anything I want. I can move it over here easily. I can move my picture over here easily. I can do whatever I want without knowing any coding whatsoever. Whereas if you design your sites through WordPress, in order to really customize the look and feel of things, you need to know a little programming or you need to hire someone. Whereas here, I just move this over like that. Or I can just make this, move it around just with the click of my mouse. So that's why I love click funnels because I don't need to know any programming and I can design sites and make up to $700,000 a month doing so. So that's the beauty of it. And then you just click save or whatnot there. Everything is super simple and it's all done. Connect your site with your click funnels and suddenly your site becomes, get the ability to make a lot of money. And that's not to say just click funnels, the community and the trainings alone are worth a ton of money here. And what you'll see is if we go to the dashboard, and what you'll see if you go to the dashboard of ClickFunnels is they also have a lot of training to help you actually become successful online. Because ClickFunnels is a website builder meant to help you make money, they have a lot of training to help you make money. And you'll see here in Success Pass, they have the Affiliate Bootcamp, they have a 30-day camp to help you figure out what you want to market, how to market it. They give you website templates to get started and make it happen. They show how brick and mortar websites can make money. They also have documentaries on all of the people that are making lots of money, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of dollars every single month with the websites they've built on ClickFunnels. One thing you'll notice here too is they have awards. They have annual events every year. This is the ClickFunnels Two Comma Club Award. I'm really proud to have received for getting two commas into my revenue. I'm making over a million dollars with the funnel that I set up with ClickFunnels two consecutive years in a row that I've been using ClickFunnels on my funnels. And it's just totally changed my business and made my life a lot easier. And all of the training, I don't really go through the training. I already know this stuff. I'm making like a lot of money comparatively, I guess. But if you're just getting started in business, all of this free trainings they have, the events they have, the community they have created can really help you get your start. Check it out. I hope that helps. Get your website started and let me know what you enjoyed the most about this video in the comments below. Looking forward to seeing you soon. In one of my next videos, make sure you murder that like button and that subscribe button. I have a lot more videos coming out in the future. Looking forward to talking soon.